So do you want to know how much VRAM the NVIDIA RTX 4070 Super is going to have? Well, start guessing in your mind. I'm going to tell you by the end of this video, and it's not clickbait or anything, I want you to think and let's compare with the other Super GPUs that are coming to see if you think it makes sense by the end. Start thinking in your head. You have a number? Remember, the 4070 right now has 12 gigabytes of VRAM. So what's NVIDIA going to do about that? 7800 XT has 16 gigabytes of VRAM. That's better, right? A lot of people focus on VRAM as well as the regular GPU performance. First, let's talk about the one that is interesting to some people, maybe not the general mass, depending on the price, the 4080 Super. This is going to be based on the AD103 GPU, which is just like the 4080 that we have now. Remember, NVIDIA wants to keep those 4090s flowing smoothly for whatever AI crazy machine sales and operations that are going on in the world right now. That GPU is much more in demand. The 4090 has been sold out in a lot of places. Prices have gone up even in the US, not to mention in Europe and different countries around the world. So 4090 still fairly much in demand because of AI. And obviously for gaming purposes, if you throw your budget out the window, it is the best. What are you going to do? You have the, you know, the AMD 7900 XTX, but that one, it's still not the same as an RTX 4090. And now let's hear a word from our sponsor, VIP-CDKDeals.com, a Windows 10 Pro CD key. Add to cart, you put in code CC20. This will also work on Windows 11. You wanna go into your settings in Windows, change and adjust your CD key, click activate. And now let's go back to the video. So then the 4080 Super, we think it's gonna have maybe 16 gigabytes of VRAM. That's the exact same amount as the existing 4080. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing. 16 gigabytes is more than sufficient for 1440p, and it's pretty adequate, if not completely adequate, in 4K. Remember, some games will, you know, gobble up memory where even a 4090 is needed, like maybe 20 gigabytes or something like that. But generally, those aren't really in the realm of reality. Those are like when your graphics are completely maxed out, and maybe the game is a little bit of a memory hog already. So we can say 16 gigabytes is fine. Obviously, a little more CUDA cores. It's going to be a little bit faster than a 4080, not quite a 4090. The only thing that I really have to say about a 4080 Super, what's the price going to be? 1199 is eh, still a little too expensive. Obviously, $999 would make it an amazing GPU. Are you kidding me? A GPU that's better than a 4080 and almost as good as a 4090, or at least in the middle, $999, even in the current economic climate, that seems like a really good deal. Then it would completely destroy the 7900 XTX in both ray tracing, rasterization, probably, even though the 7900 XTX does beat a 4090 once in a while, it would anyway up the argument with the LSS3 and things like that. Judging by how Nvidia is not really rushing to sell GPUs with the AI craze going on and everything else, you could probably factor $1,199 if they don't even raise it a little bit to like $12.99, but who knows? Maybe $1,199 seems reasonable enough. The second GPU, now this one is interesting, 4070 Ti Super. I mean, it has even two names at the end of it, so that's really unique. I haven't really seen that before. This one allegedly is coming with 16 gigabytes of VRAM. Whoa, what's going on here? It's not a 4080, right? 16 gigabytes of VRAM, that's gonna be very, very interesting. Depending on the price, if it's 799 like the 4070 Ti now, maybe that might be just as good as a $999 4080 Super, right? Because that's gonna be really, really performing very, very well, probably very close to a 4080, and it's gonna have 16 gigabytes of VRAM. That one, I don't know, it's hard for me to see NVIDIA pricing it at $799. I could see that being $999 if NVIDIA really wants to stick the knife in in terms of the pricing. I don't know, about $899, something like that. But anyway, 16 gigabytes of VRAM, now that is something that a high-end GPU like that would deserve. I never liked the 12 gigabytes of VRAM on the 4070 Ti when it's $800 plus. So if they do that, that's going to be a lot more you know, well-rounded. And of course, it lets them compete much better with AMD's offerings like the 7900 XT, 7800 XT, even though that's considerably cheaper, that has 16 gigabytes of VRAM. So then we get to the 4070. The 4070 Super, supposedly from what we can see in some leaks and things like that, it's going to have 12 gigabytes of VRAM. 
See, that wasn't so hard. Now, going to 16 would have been cool, if you will, so it matches the 4070 Ti Super, but that's something that NVIDIA I don't even think really needs to do. Just having more CUDA cores, faster rasterization, and pushing ray tracing and DLSS 3, that's going to be enough, I think, for that GPU to dominate the 7800 XT. Right now, the 7800 XT is really close to the 4070, especially considering 4070 is 599 and the AMD 7800 XT is 499. Now, would NVIDIA flat out price a 4070 Super at 599? With more CUDA cores, even though it has the same VRAM, and then just you know make the regular 4070 cheaper or obsolete, that could definitely be something that happens. They could also price it higher. Who knows? It's hard to judge what Nvidia will do with their pricing. They could say 699, and we wouldn't be surprised. 599 Super 4070. I think that's going to be a pretty good case for a GPU. You're not spending over a thousand. It's still expensive. Don't get me wrong. Then you're getting some like really good performance because the 4070 is already pretty good at 1440p. A 4070 Super, if it does have some nice gains over a 4070, even with the same 12 gigabytes of VRAM for 1440p, that's going to be the GPU to buy probably at 599 with much better performance performance is only a little better it won't make a big difference but i think nvidia probably knows what they're doing and then that's going to basically round off these gpus that are coming so what do you guys think you think that seems fair maybe a faster 4070 super same amount of vram 4070 ti with more vram that's an interesting one and then the 4080 super same vram a little bit better performance it's going to be kind of like eh, who knows it'll depend on the pricing Pricing obviously will be the big, you know, factor. NVIDIA can see how the market is. They know by now that not that many people are buying gaming GPUs compared to before. So they've had time to adjust. Are they going to give us cheaper pricing? That's what we really have to wait and see. All right, guys, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.